All right, I finally got my Nameless King video ready for you guys and uploaded. Um, this is not the second Nameless King um, fight I did, the most recent one, which is the one I did try to upload. Uh, instead, I had to search back into my old PS4 videos and find this one and upload it. But it doesn't matter, there's still epic boss fights, and in the new one, I'm not using the Executioner, or excuse me, not the Executioner Sword, but the just freaking straight up great sword and and this is the only sword or only weapon in general that I've leveled up to 10 so it's pretty freaking kick-ass um, originally the fallen king is not the why do I keep fucking calling him the fallen king he's the nameless king uh, originally he's the king of storms um, for the reason of he still has his dragon buddy or wyvern buddy I'm not sure if this uh, dragon is actually referred to as an oni um an oni is like a japanese uh, version of a demon that was super fucking quick holy shit we kick that dragon's ath oni's ath wyvern's ath whatever i'm gonna look it up later but um yeah so i don't know it might be an oni who knows because you know there are the dragon there's the dragon slayer bow and the oni slayer bow i'll just have to look up the distinction and the lore between them um if you can tell you can very vaguely see that the nameless king kind of shakes his hand before he delivers the final blow to his dragon buddy um and i think that might be because you know he he cares about this dragon uh I feel like he has been, you know, the freaking, the breeder of the dragons on this, um, on this, uh, arch dragon peak. And so, the death of any of them probably brings a little bit of heartbreak to him. Uh, because he's such a great guy. But as you know, he is, well, as you should know, he is the firstborn of Lord Gwyn, I think. Yes, I think he's the firstborn. Firstborn of Lord Gwyn uh, gets exiled because of, you know, siding with the dragons. I might have talked about this with the ancient wyvern thing, but just a little bit of lore for you. He sided with the dragons. Uh, his dad was a super bigot racist and didn't like dragons. And so his son got exiled into this beautiful place to be exiled, by the way. My god, it is like the, the least depressing area in all of Dark Souls 3. It's nice and bright and sunny, and you know, you've got these like sun-scorched, you know, rocks and it's like, yeah, man, if there weren't giant freaking Cobra soldiers everywhere trying to, you know, grill me, then this would probably be a place that I would be willing to take a vacation spot at. Um, but other than that, let's talk about this boss's difficulty level. Um, I think we can all agree that this is definitely the most difficult boss in Dark Souls 3. Uh, I'm sure there are a few people who definitely have their own opinion, because everybody plays this game differently. There are people who like to play this game defensively. There are people who like to go out swinging, like me. Uh, no shield. I do not play with shields, unless I'm, you know, like, role-playing a character, like... Just recently, I got all of the Black Knight's armor set, which I was really excited about. Um, it really helps out when you have those serpent rings that um, have enemies drop more stuff when they die. I'm at least assuming that's the reason why that happened. Um, but, uh, for me, the second most difficult boss, I think, in, in um, Dark Souls 3 is the Dragon Slayer armor. He's just so tough. Like, physically, like, just tough to... To, to take health down from him. And then the third most difficult for me would be Pontiff Sullivan, just because of how aggressive he is. Uh, you are given hardly any time to respond to his attacks if he gets a lot of, you know, combos off uh, on you. Um, but anyway, here is now the opening to the rest of Arch Dragon Peak, where we get... It's beautiful, first of all, just a beautiful, beautiful area. And also, it's quite mysterious. You know that you've got some new armor and some new weapons you get a hold of, and you're left to wonder how did they get there, and what has happened to the being that has dropped this armor and weapons. But uh, I'm excited for Ashes of Arnie and Del. I hope you guys are excited for it too. When I get the DLC, I will be definitely uploading tons of videos for that as well as tons of videos for uh, the age of iron when that comes out but thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later in the next video